They are organizing led to actively heretics. That is why we cannot say this can be simply a product of just chance happening without any designer. The universe has higher level of organization and complexity. So as a rational human being, we cannot then be inconsistent and say the universe which is more complex in its design, it, it was made by nothing, made by no designer. So even design, observation of design of this microphone and observation of the universe and the design within it, we can rationally conclude that the universe must also have a designer. Like this one must have a designer. So this inference is rational. The corrupt message. So if everything is so designed, why does people corrupt it? Sure, because God has a. Yeah, it, it, it easily explained. Yeah, I, I know it's. It's, I know we don't want that. Yes, yes. I know we don't want that. We don't want poverty. We don't want warfare. We don't want racism. In fact, human beings, we are rational, compassionate. We have the same kind of similar kind of understanding that we do not want to see people, innocent people, getting murdered. We don't want people to be tortured and oppressed. Yeah. Yeah. You have free will and I have free will. So what I'm saying to you, which you, I'm sure you will agree with me, I'm explaining, I'm explaining. God does not wish mankind to totally destroy itself. God created mankind and gave mankind a way to live their lives in peace, in tranquility, in justice. God gave human beings a free will, a free will in which they can follow God and follow his laws or, or not follow. Because he wants human beings to appreciate with their own free will their creator and submit and thank their creator voluntarily with their own volition, not to be forced. God doesn't want us to be like robots where you believe in without any freedom of choice. So, so can I, yeah, can I just make a point why we have this problem? So, because human beings have the potential to disobey and create warfare, economic disasters, and so on, God sends prophets and messengers say and says, don't follow this way. Follow a way in which you can live in tranquility. No, 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 no. In every, no, no, no. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not rob. This has been the message universally. What happens is, some people, they want to become richer, more powerful. And the way they can do that is by exploiting other people, by killing them, taking their riches, and so on. These people, they will be accountable in the day of judgment when they will be accountable for what wrong they have done. But God doesn't want simply to, you know, imagine someone wants to stab someone and kill and God then makes him to a butterfly and that's it. That will be like, have no freedom of choice. God doesn't want people to kill, but he doesn't stop people from committing these actions. He says the people who do these actions, they are criminals in the sight of God, sinful, and they have to pay for their sins. Yeah, either, either in this world, in this life, where there will be life for life, tooth for a tooth, as a Jewish background you should know, God can punish them and protect the society from these kind of criminals, as well as in the hereafter, those who get away. There are many people who get away, those who get away, they will face God and His justice. But there, are, there is this concept of Messiah, you know, the the of We believe God is just. Justice demands that when we die, the good and the bad, they should not have the same end. The worms comes and eats us, 
when you're good and when you're bad, it doesn't make any sense. Justice demands there will be day of retribution, day of accountability, day of judgment. Ah, the solution is. Yeah. 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 And then all the religious people say, okay, you're not doing the mitzvahs, you're not doing nothing, so it's not good for them, so they have to because of you. So it creates a society where there are people who have some blame for them, and there are people who are, okay, we're good. So if we have free will, and God gave us free will, do not believe, yeah. do not follow his, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. So God always says, you follow his prophets and messengers and the scripture that he sent with. Any deviation is going to create problems. Okay, son, it's think, going to create son, another religion. So Christianity, as you know today, as you and I know today, is a deviation from the truth of oneness of God. They made a tri Trinitarian God when God is one. When God sent to Moshe, one God, no gods before me, no God after me. Yeah. And then they come along and say, no, God has a son. This is a deviation. So God does not let people to, it's like uh, going away, being change, in, changing message. So, so when Jesus or the Messiah, he came, yeah? he did not come to tell people, worship me, because he could not, because the Jewish people knew, but God is the one to be worshiped. Anyone who comes and says, I am God, they have the right to kill him. They have the right to kill, crucify, whatever, right? Because that's what God's message is. Anyone who claims and, 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 and becomes a God themselves, they should be punished on this, on this world. That's what the message sent. So we believe, we believe as Muslims, Yesuh or Isa in Arabic, al Masih, was a Messiah, Mashiach, who came to remind the Jewish people to come back to the worship of God and give glad tidings of a future messenger come who will be universal for all people, not for the Israelites, not for the Europeans, not for the Chinese or Indonesians, but for the whole world. Moses, peace be upon all the prophets and upon Moses, he did not come to every single nation. He came to Bani Israel, children of Israel. Isa, likewise, came to Bani Israel, the lost ones among them. To Bani Israel. But then God, same God, sent a messenger, a Nabi, a Rasul, as a Rahmatul Lil Alameen, a Rahma, a, a mercy to all of the worlds. That is Prophet Muhammad, which we, you as a Jewish person or a Christian, as a Christian, as Muslim, we should all accept him because this is where God told us finally, 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 how to live our life without any warfare and intolerance and racism and all these things. Do you see justice in this world without believing in God? What's happening in Palestine? Muslims and Jewish people fighting with each other. Where is justice? Exactly. So you don't see justice there, you see injustice is happening. But you know that there is a God though. Ah, I agree with you. I, no, I agree the concepts that you have, justice, compassion, love, mercy, this is good thing. This is all coming from also God's teaching. But God also wants us to follow a way of life that he wants us to follow not what okay who knows us more than god do we know more than god who, how to operate ourselves for example do you know do, do, you can believe too you can believe too sure but do you know when we said about it makes rational sense to believe in a designer of this universe. We can bring so many other examples to illustrate this point in which we can be sure and convinced that there is a creator who is one and absolute, sovereign and all-powerful and all-knowing. We can come to this conclusion. Once you know that there is a creator who created us for a reason, 
Why are we going to be stubborn or lazy and say, I'm not going to listen to you? If, if you know that he is the one who is all knowledgeable, he knows what's best for us, what food is best for us, what way of living is best for us. He doesn't, he should, he would not leave us astray to our demise. What happened to communism? How many people through Stalin and Lenin and others were killed because of their ideology, false ideology, idea of communism? Millions of people. Their life was lost because of human beings thought they can live their life by thinking about how to live. So the Palestinian and the Jewish people now is killed because they don't believe in God? No, they believe in God, but, but the problem is elsewhere. But they, they, some people are committing oppression. You take someone's land, the serpent land, you invade the land, you take over. That's injustice being committed already. Yeah, so that's why the problem starts from there. How about this? How about this? You actually with religious. Like, you know, this is the problem. Okay. Okay. Like, like, a lot of many of the, the, the problem is that they're saying, uh, okay, religious is that God said, God said we need to be and, uh, here. Exactly God, God says you can all live together. Not always. It depends. What happened? Let's give you an example. What happened? What happened before 1914 or 1900? When? The Muslims were in power, the Jewish people were living in peace. So were the Christian people, so were the Muslim people. When there was a power shift, government shift, that's where the problems happen. Islamic paradigm is such that you can have your differences and your belief. You don't have to accept Islam if you don't want to. No one can force you. So when, for example, Europe, Europe was killing and massacring and torturing the Jewish people, do you know where the Jewish people go? Where, where they went? They went to the Muslim countries, like Islamic Spain. They went there to have protection. The Jewish didn't, you know, uh, yeah. in Spain, the Jewish people didn't have in 19, I don't know. No, what, what I'm saying is, when Europe was trying to eliminate and annihilate the Jewish people from existence, they found safe haven within the Muslim lands. The Muslims would protect them, like they would protect the Christians, and their faith too. That's why if you go to like in Syria, you will see within the same road, in one side there is a mosque, and another side there is a church, for thousands of years. People have, political shift has made a lot of Jewish people to go from one country to the other, but initially they were living. You had the Jewish quarter there and so on and so forth. So because of political shifts, the problem occurred. But Islam did not introduce a problem to the Jewish community. We are looking for a new prime minister in Israel. Okay. You want to come? I don't know your politics, so I cannot comment. He doesn't know our politics also. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, right. so we, we, we want to see peace and tranquility happening in anywhere on the land. And the best way we can agree and unite is uniting under God's law, worshipping God, following his messenger. And this is what our invitation to you is to look into Islam and see that Islam is not taking away from what you have. Oh, Islam will give you. Can I ask you a yeah. different question? Yeah. What's going on here? So, so speaker's corner, okay, I'll give you a, a, a no, brief background. No one organizes. Speaker's corner, people come, take the opportunity to have, yeah, I live in London, yeah, I don't, some people come from a long way, from Leeds, from Manchester, from Birmingham, because they know this is a place in which they can have an exchange of information, and... So the subject is not the, is the determined in advance, like the subject is... It happens only on Sundays. So, if you, if you, if you are a regular, for example, and you want to discuss with someone who's a regular, you can arrange, say, you know what, let's um, have a motion that we can debate next week or three weeks later. You can arrange that. But people normally come as they go and pass as a tourist and they can engage and, and participate in, in, in a discussion in which you can really remove your misconceptions, enlighten yourself to be a, a better human being. I find that it has that opportunity, that, that potential, as well as the negative, which is very toxic when you go away feeling like someone's really undermined you and you feel that someone's really put you off from something. 
this has it's a double-edged sword but the benefit is there more than the harm I, I feel personally and if we can open up people's minds to to tolerate each other with our differences that's how we can live yeah 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 so yeah so that's our open invitation to you to become Muslims and save yourself from the hellfire because it's real, hellfire is real, and paradise is real. We should not somehow, you know, for our temporary life of this world, 120 years, 130 years, we're not going to live more, more longer than that. Are we going to sacrifice our eternal life in a place of happiness or a place of torture just because 120 years of this life? We need to, we need to look at our priorities. Look, hijab should not stop you from becoming a Muslim. When you become a Muslim, when you become a Muslim, you would recognize hijab as a function. It has a function, it's a role. Forget about hijab, dress, dress. You know, people covering the hair? Okay, right. Sure, sure. Let me explain in a bit. But there is a just like, just like, I look not uh, just like our, sure, sure. just want to give an example of a functionality of things. Our dress have a function. Do you agree? Do, do our dresses not have a role, a purpose, a function? Why are we not naked in a hot weather like that? Because some of us, we feel, if not the majority of us, that we should not just go naked and, and, and show our sexualities and our nudities and our public bodies because of when God created us. I'll give you an example. No, 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 no. This is something different. When God created us, He created within us certain desires and attraction for a reason. So that when there is attraction between the opposite sexes, we have differences of attraction, right? No, we have differences of opinions about the things you can do. No, no, no. Do you? Okay, one, tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Do women get attracted the same way men get attracted? I don't know. I've never been a man, but I uh, hope they do. Right. And I hope this man right. can hold themselves sure. from looking and touching. You know, no, no, I, 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 I appreciate. No, I appreciate. Just because a man cannot hold his own. I appreciate your... No, I appreciate the way you think. For us, it's easy? No, brother, brother, one second, one second. I appreciate... Thank you for the honesty. No, no, I appreciate men should control themselves, even if a woman is naked, right? But the biology is such that there will be attractions... No, 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 you need to understand something. Do you know? Okay, good. Do you know? Thank you. Do you know why we don't go to work naked? Any any workplace apart from pornographic industries, whatever. Why? Distracting. There you go. You said it. Right. Then you claim at the at the like no, uh, wrong, wrong. We don't blame, we don't just blame, we say we are equally responsible. If I have, if I have, no, 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 this is what, no, 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 even though the consequences may be bad? And you know the bigger problem is, the more you find No, no, not this, this is, this is, this. let's talk about extreme. We, we, we say, no, we say, men and women should be dressed in a modest way. That's what God wants. But God, God, do you agree? We should be dressed modestly. Fine. The limits. No, no, what I'm asking is this. To define modesty, human beings have a disagreement. Do you agree? You just agree. Disagreement. We say, we let God define that so that we don't have to be in this disagreement. God knows more than us. He knows how human mind thinks, whether it's the mind of a man or a woman. So if God tells us these are the parameters and the boundaries, we accept.
God is not a man or a woman. God is not a man or a woman. He is unlike, he is unlike anything. He is not like anything. He is a creator, originator, but there's no resemblance to God. We, creation, is totally unlike our creator. This is, he's unique. That's how the Quran tells us, unique. He's Ahad, he's, he's Wahid, he's Ahad. Uh, yeah. no, sister, nice sister, can I just clarify? I said that's not the reason why you have to cover up. Not because men can't yeah. control you. You'll make a better Muslim, do you know that? Because God said to me. No, but you have more differences. That's the problem. No, I think you heard me wrong. No, no, no. You haven't actually studied this. Please, I'll just pack it. You know, you, you, you really haven't studied this. Yeah. That's your opinion. Yeah. The last point, last point before you go, I was just saying about the hijab for example once someone becomes a muslim a muslim woman will willingly want to wear it because they appreciate what function the hijab has it has a preventative function just like our dresses have a preventative function the hijab also have for women some preventative function so that she would not be molested in public from this prying evil eyes of perverts and so on and so forth Right? So it has a function. But you don't need to like think about like, well, I'm not going to become a Muslim because I have a disagreement with hijab. That shouldn't stop you from making Islam. But once you are a Muslim, you would want to wear it perhaps. Yeah? You take care. Well, nice talking to you both of you. What's your name? Hava. I'm not saying? And I'm Mansur. Pleasure speaking to you. Mansur. You take care. Bye bye.